What's happening, man? It's your boy Funk Duck. Check this out back with another video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you on YouTube, hit the notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. Listen, 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 man. I guess I ruffled a few feathers when I did that video a couple, um, probably a little over a week ago when, um, I talked about the Rockefellers and I talked about how, if you didn't know this, but Spelman College was named after Laura Spellman Rockefeller. That ruffled a few people's feathers, which I knew it was, but that just goes to show you that some people are in denial of the truth and some people just are born to be led. That's just what it is. But for all the freedom fighters and all the, you know, all my people that's woke, y'all already know what time it is. I don't give a damn. So, with that being said, if you feel as though you don't see nothing wrong with uh, Spellman being named after Rockefeller, and it has it's the fact of the people that's, that it's named after are the very people that are harming us on the daily. Now, I'm going to show you another video, right, of, 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 of one of the Rockefeller regimes, and pay close attention to the influence that the Rockefellers have over the pharmaceutical companies. And this is when you'll realize and find out why I have an issue with Spelman College being named after Laura Spelman Rockefeller. Check this out. Around the same time that John D. Rockefeller seized U.S. media, he also hijacked U.S. medicine. When it was discovered that drugs could be produced from petroleum, America's top oil mogul ordered his army of propagandists to invert reality accordingly. Medicines used for thousands of years were suddenly classified as alternative, while the new, petroleum-based, highly addictive, and patentable drugs were declared the gold standard. After buying a German pharmaceutical company that manufactured chemicals of war for Adolf Hitler, Rockefeller leveraged his political influence by pressing Congress to declare natural healing modalities unscientific quackery. Rockefeller then took control of the American Medical Association and began offering massive grants to top medical schools under the mandate that only his approved curriculum be taught. Any mention of the healing powers of herbs, plants, and diet was erased from most medical textbooks. Doctors and professors who objected to Rockefeller's plan were crucified by the media, removed from the AMA, and stripped of their license to teach and practice medicine. Those who dared to speak out were arrested and jailed. When evidence began to emerge that petroleum-based medicines were causing cancer, Mr. Rockefeller founded the American Cancer Society through which he suppressed that information. John D. Rockefeller is duly credited as the founder of the pharmaceutical industry and the reason that medical error is currently the third leading cause of death in America. This is not an indictment against doctors. More than anyone, they are under the stranglehold of the single largest lobbying power in Washington. Every year, the pharmaceutical industry spends at least twice the amount as big oil to influence laws, policies, and public perception. Thanks to Mr. Rockefeller, the architect of American monopolies, no industry has more power over our lives than Big Pharma. If you look at the Walgreens symbol, it's a, it's a mallet in a bowl where you crunch up herbs. This has a lot to do with witchcraft. Also, Rite Aid. I don't know where you at in the world, but in Florida, we had a, um, a um, drugstore called Rite Aid. It wasn't spelled R-I-G-H-T. It was spelled R-I-T-E, which is a, an abbreviation for ritual. The word pharmacy comes from it derives from the word um pharmacia. And if you look if you look these things up, you will see that all these things are attached to witchcraft. Look it up for yourself. Now with that being said, you can see the influence that the Rockefellers had on the pharmaceutical companies and why it was so important to indoctrinate us and to promote their curriculum onto the world. Now, as you see, if you pay close attention to that video, watch it again if you have to, 
this is why I say the remedies that our grandmothers and our grandfathers and our great great grandmothers and grandfathers told to us and used on us, we need to keep that alive. This is why I said that. Why? Because these motherfuckers are going into the books and hiding all this stuff. You just saw it for yourself. You can look it up and see for yourself that these people have total influence over the pharmaceutical companies. Not only that, if we allow them to get rid of all the natural remedies and all the things that we grew up on that fixed us, that we didn't have to run to Walgreens or Rite Aid or run to uh, CVS and all that just to be, you know, they are trying to, like I tell you, everything is a business. Everything's around you a bit. I'm going to say it again. Business is your father. Religion is your mother. And it's going to beat in your head. These people are getting rid of natural remedies that we grew up on, taking them out of textbooks, uh, funding uh, um, schools to promote their curriculum. This is how you run the world. You run the people. You control the you control the education. You control the finances. You control the shelter. You control the our foods. Like, come on, people. When we going to wake up? And now that we we waking up, the next step is us putting together our plan. And that's coming real soon. So, but like I'm saying, I just showed y'all how Spelman College is named after uh, Laura Spelman Rockefeller. And y'all y'all see just one of the things of just a itty I just show I just gave y'all a a splice of the things that they have done to humanity, to society. Um the influence that they have. Ain't nobody gonna save us but us. And I'm telling y'all, these people, y'all saw for yourself, these people have influence to the fact they can get rid of all the curriculums and, 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 and create their own curriculum to be taught and to be um all it is is the same old thing. It's an indoctrination. So when you go to a doctor, don't think he knows anything he's he only know what he's been taught not saying that in some cases or, or you know they don't know nothing that can help you but just know they have been taught the same old thing and this is why they don't like um natural doctors or oh, they hate them they want all doctors to be a part of the the, the um the program so that they can you know control the, the medicines and, and make money and continue to be in control and on top. Anyway, and I'm gonna drop drop this little bombshell on y'all too. So, um, yeah, in Spelman there's an HBCU. Let's let's get that out of the way. But I'm just trying to show y'all we need our own HBCU. You can't call it a HBCU if it ain't owned or controlled by blacks. Like, come on, man. Let's stop playing this game. I'm sick of that. We ain't doing it no more. Anyway. Hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. What the business is. What the lick read. You ain't know.